Shut up and sit down. Hi everybody, Tony Day here. I wanted to make this video in order to try to clarify something. I was out of town on business and I saw a video that kind of made me a little not annoyed, but a, a little worried that people would take their advice and just do it or believe that there was something wrong with the camera when there isn't, okay? So this is the Blackmagic Pocket 4K and they were saying that uh, they were expecting the exposure tools such as false color or the zebras or whatever to change based on what your reference LUT was showing when you were shooting in either log or in raw. And what I'm telling you in this video is that to expect those tools to work that way is not correct, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I mean. I have it set up in shooting the dynamic range of film and I have an option of the extended video and video. Whichever of these you choose will bake that into the file, okay? Because that's what you're recording. See this little menu here, it says record. That means whatever you're changing in here affects the recording, okay? Just because you choose a LUT, which is in a completely different place over here, does not mean that it's baking that into the file, okay? Also, if you look here, I have where it says record LUT to clip set to off, okay? This is very important. I have it set where my zebras are at 95%, okay? So you can see them kind of flickering there. And I, let's say, I want to take a look at how um, this scene is going to be exposed, right? With false color, just to see like if I've got my exposure right. When I toggle that on, you can see that there's some red here. So that's like indicating just like the zebras that I'm at risk of clipping those highlights, okay? So I can, you know, iris down or I can do a, a number of different things to change my exposure. But that's not the point of this, okay? The point is seeing how it looks, okay? So what this person was complaining about was that when they turned on the reference LUT, you can see that it looks kind of like blown out here, but when they turned on the false color, it wasn't reflecting that. So they thought there was something wrong, like this was wrong. This is working appropriately, okay? This is correct. If the exposure changed based on the reference LUT, that would be wrong because you're not recording this look you're not baking this into the file. So if it changed, that would be wrong, okay? I just wanna make sure that's clear to everybody. It would be incorrect if the false color or the zebras changed based on the lookup table that you use only as a reference. Whatever you set in the recording parameters is correct. If I go into record and I change dynamic range to video, see I'm changing a recording parameter because it's in that menu to video, then we see a change, you see? And this is irrespective of the LUT. Doesn't matter if the LUT's turned on or not, what's being baked in is the dynamic range that I've chosen to the file, okay? False color is the same way. See how this is all blown out now? Because I've changed the recording parameters for dynamic range. So I was also asked if you were to bake in the LUT, would that make a difference in the exposure tools? Well, if everything else we know is true, then if I turn this on, the false color and the zebras and everything should all be reflected based on those recording parameters, correct? And wouldn't you know, it is. This is the exposure based on the LUT that I have selected. The zebras also reflect this, okay? This is working appropriately. Whatever you set in your recording parameter will affect your exposure tools within the camera. To do so otherwise would be completely wrong and would push you to underexpose or sometimes even overexpose depending on what the scene is when you shouldn't be. If this was what was going to happen with my lookup table, if I had baked it in, then I need to then I need to expose for this and I'd have to, you know, iris down or change the gain or whatever it was to make sure that I wasn't completely blowing my highlights, right? But if I was shooting in film, and I would only have to worry about these particular highlights here, which may not matter at all in, in the end result. In post-production, if I was to shoot this in film, I can pull down those highlights. You know, I can, I can pull those down. I don't have to stick with whatever LUT I was using as a reference. I can always adjust the contrast before the LUT is applied to recover highlights or to add a little bit to the shadows or whatever it is I'm going to do to the contrast, okay? So I would, I say this, okay? 
If you're using this camera, use the exposure tools the way that they're set up. Make sure that when you choose your recording parameters in the record tab, that it reflects what you need and expose based on this. Use the LUT as a reference only. That is what it's for. If you need it to be baked in, bake it, bake it in and you know, do your exposure properly. But please do not underexpose intentionally. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Like use the tools the way they're designed because they're designed correctly. Okay, I hope this made sense. I hope that you got something out of this. I'm just saying like, please don't underexpose intentionally. That's not, that's not correct. And the tools are working properly in this camera. Okay, thanks, bye.